From the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, David Payne. And here we go, just like that, storms are quickly erupting in the Panhandle. We have confirmed tornadoes now. Uh, up near Liberal Kansas, up near Dodge, and I think we're going to see more tornadoes in the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles, and then eventually the tornado threat will quickly move into western Oklahoma here the next hour or so. So everything is really, really moving. Lots of speed today. Trackers are out on the ground. We have all these storms covered from the, our panhandle through the Texas panhandle. We're going to bring these storms to the entire state this evening and tonight folks so we're going to be here all evening long we'll be wall to wall bringing this whole line because it's going to be a big line with damaging winds producing damage power outages and that threat of tornadoes it is real let's go up top and get an update from the one and only jim gardner dark skies boy i tell you what it is tough tough to see out there jim you're in western oklahoma looking back to the west give us a quick update lots of wind shear coming our way go ahead Yeah, we have your shot looking good. Shot looks good. All right, let's get back to it here and come back to Lynx 1. And uh, here's what we have in effect until 10 o'clock. This is going to be the first tornado watch for all the counties in green, running from right now from Fairview back down to Lawton. Everybody out here under the gun for large hail, damaging winds with that tornado threat. This watch will be extended farther east as we get into, well, 8, 9, 10 o'clock. We're going to bring it east, okay? But right now, the first watch again is out west. Look at the line of severe weather. Tornadoes being reported again in Kansas. I think we'll start to see some tornadoes beginning to develop in the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles and then again making their way into western Oklahoma. Trackers are lined up all across the west and again they're going to bring this entire line in into northwestern, western and southwestern Oklahoma. Hell sizes right now are nickel, dime, quarter up to we've had some going to be nearly tennis ball size hail there. All right, let's go back up top with Jim Gardner and get an update from Jim. And uh, Jim, dark skies, the moisture is increasing, the wind's increasing, powerful storm. Give us an update from way out west. Yep. Go ahead, Jim. Roger that, David. Right now we're on the east side of the town of Clinton, shooting back to the west. There's a lot of scud in the air right now, a lot of low visibility for us where we're at right now. But as that storm moves, Ken, some of this will clear out. But again, David, we're in a good position. We'll keep you updated. Jim Garpoint live from Bob Mills, Cutters 9. Back to you. All right. Great job there, Jim, as always. So uh, Jim is up. Trackers are down. All right. Back to it. Lynx 1 doing a storm track. Tornado warning on the storm that Brandon is on. We'll bring it off to the east-northeast at 60 miles per hour. It might slow down a little bit, but these things are going to be hauling. We're looking at, let's say, uh, Raiden, Oklahoma, 619. Uh, Black Kettle, Grassland 625, Cheyenne 633, and Hammond at about 649. That's with that one cell there. The entire line, Western Oklahoma, here we go. We're looking at Shattuck at about 6 o'clock. So again, 6 o'clock is about when the whole thing begins to inch across the state line. Uh, Memphis at about 621, Woodward 630, Sharon at about 631. It'll be a little bit later for you folks in southwestern Oklahoma. Your storm's down here are just not getting their act together, but we have Tom and other trackers down there as well. So here's the motion of everything moving east northeast at 60 plus miles per hour. Storms earlier were moving at nearly 80 to 90 miles per hour. So your timeline 6 to 8 o'clock for all the counties here out west in the lighter blue. OK, 6 to 8 o'clock, 8 to 10 o'clock coming across I-35 for Oklahoma City between 9 and 10 o'clock. And then after 10 o'clock, that'll be well off into eastern Oklahoma. Right now in Oklahoma City, we are cloudy. Yep, 58 degrees. Southeast winds at 23, gusting to 30. Our dew points are in the mid 50s. We will see dew points here this evening climbing into the low 60s. So we have temperatures now low 60s. The warmer air is beginning to make its way in. Much warmer 70s now in the southwest. The humidity continues to increase on these ripping south winds. And by the way, uh, yeah, just north of Woodward, just had a wind gust of 55 miles per hour. That's not near a thunderstorm. All right, so here's your timeline, 6 o'clock. There we go. There's this line of thunderstorms. It will develop down towards Childress. There's 7 o'clock, severe line of storms, large hail, damaging winds with a tornado threat broken along that line. There's 8 o'clock. There it is from Cherokee down to Clinton, down to Hobart. Again, this, again, this line is hauling east. There's 9 o'clock. Up and down Highway 81, there's 10 o'clock crossing I-35, and then 11 o'clock to midnight east of I-35, pushing well into eastern Oklahoma. Rain amounts will range from a half an inch to an inch to three quarters of an inch to a quarter of an inch, all right? So if you get a heavier thunderstorm on top of you, you're going to have, again, well, heavier rain, okay? Rotating thunderstorms, we're going to have a lot of these coming out. Now, not all of these will produce tornadoes, but that tornado threat will certainly be there 
as it crosses I-35. So a moderate to a high risk of severe weather just means we're going to have a lot of severe weather reports in the bullseye in red to include to include really large hail, uh, damaging winds, lots of damaging winds report with also that tornado threat starting in the west making its way east. So we'll go with a low to a moderate threat of tornadoes from Oklahoma City back to the west and southwest. OK, and a few tornadoes certainly look likely and there might be a strong tornado in two in there. That would be an EF2 or possibly a little bit stronger. Damaging winds, a few gusts in the orange here this evening could approach 100 miles per hour, but a lot of the winds will be gusting 60, 70, 80 miles per hour. And by the way, when the storm moves by you, the winds are going to still howl through this evening and tonight. I still think we could have quite a few power outages in the green. Hail sizes, nickel and dime quarter. Golf ball could see some larger hail out west. And again, everything moving in out west. So this evening, 100% chance of storms marching east coming in Oklahoma City between 9 and 10 o'clock. And then after that, it's out of here. Tomorrow, beautiful, less wind, high of 69. Great looking weather. There's your Wednesday. March arrives, colder, more rain, maybe a few flakes of snow by Thursday of this week.